Hello everybody and welcome to my video blog from Strasbourg. Happy New Year! It's now 2013 and we're looking forward to lots of activity here in the European Parliament. Of course the first thing I have to report is some delays I'm afraid. Um, I'm working as you all know very hard on the Common Agricultural Policy which is due to be in effect from January the 1st next year and we haven't yet voted in committee. Now, I'm not going to bore you with uh, what that means, uh, the detail, but what it means is that we will not be able to get it in place for the 1st of January next year. It will be the earliest 2015, and indeed, depending on the voting, could be much later. So we're currently involved in wrangling over where UK agriculture will be in a few years' time. And I have to say, it's not looking good in terms of the amount of money that's available going to other countries and not coming to the UK. Most specifically uh, within the proposals, we're looking at um, a lot of support for small farmers, which directly mitigates against the UK because we have some of the biggest and most efficient agriculture in Europe. And this is very bad news. It's not good news for the rest of Europe either because the encouragement to improve their agricultural practices is simply not there if we keep paying um, for bad practice. And this is no more, uh, more visible than looking at what we call couple payments. You probably all remember the, the, wine, the wine lakes and the butter mountains and we all thought that those were a thing of the past but if you look at the proposals it may well be that they'll be coming back. So um, beware of that, I would say, and I'm doing my best to make sure that that doesn't happen. I think uh, it's also worth saying that uh, with all of the news that we've had in the UK over Europe, never been more, never been more in the press. Every day we have more and more about Europe. One of the first things that everyone's been saying to me since I returned to work after Christmas is, Happy New Year. Is it really true that the UK are going to be leaving the European Union? A uh, clear message has got to many member states and, and lots of MEPs that the UK are serious uh, about the position of wanting to renegotiate. Now, of course, I can't answer for UK government and we're all looking forward to Mr Cameron's speech. Um, I believe it will be the end of this week or early next week. Um, I'm looking forward to it as much as you are, but I think the clear message is that we are very serious about renegotiating our position. We're very serious about uh, clearing up some of the waste, some of the corruption, and getting ourselves into a position where Europe actually is a force for good. The European Union should be promoting growth, promoting business, promoting trade, and making sure that we Europeans all live a better life in the future. Not what's currently happening, which is internal navel-gazing, and trying to regulate everything that moves so that actually we end up in stasis and nothing happens, no progress is made. So I say to my colleagues, yes, we are very serious about it. We want to renegotiate our position with Europe, but we also believe that Europe is renegotiating anyway because the EU um, Eurozone states clearly have to sort out their own internal issues and we have to be part of that. So I look forward uh, next month to being able to tell you how reaction, what the reaction in Europe has been to Mr Cameron's speech. At the moment it's uh, anticipation, everybody's waiting to see what will happen. And a uh, nice place to be because not only are they listening and looking and waiting, but it's absolutely clear that uh, most European states want us to stay in. So when people say to you there's no chance of renegotiating, I would say no, that's not the case because British um, being part of the European Union is clearly very important across the board. So have a good January and I look forward to speaking to you again in February.